Now we're moving back in time to 1951, when Two on the Isle opened at the Mark Hellinger Theater, which is now the Times Square Church. Every single time I make sure there's at least one Mark Hellinger show so we can all just like be quiet and sad for the Times Square Church at Mark Hellinger Theater. Um, bring it back, people. Uh, this show was the last of the girly reviews, and it was written by Compton and Green with music by Julie Stein. Uh, the review format, yeah, applause Shout for Shout out to Green. Compton and Green. Green. <laughs> Mama, thank you for starting with applause round. Um, <laughs> The review format had been all but killed by television, but these three pulled every trick out of their hat, um, and they got the number one clown, Bert Lahr, best known as the Cowardly Lion from The Wizard of Oz. They also had one of Broadway's best singers, an up-and-coming starlet named Dolores Gray. The journal American said, Dolores Gray is the truest talent to arrive on Broadway since Ethel Merman or Mary Martin, and spent the entire review demanding that Dolores Gray's name be printed in just as large letters as Bert Lars was on the show's marquee. Ooh, demanding. Uh, so it was no wonder that Lara and Gray got into some legendary backstage feuds. You can see how much they loved each other in that photo. Um, uh, at the closing night party for the show, Lara said to a gossip columnist that he would not be touring with the show. Why, the columnist asked. The sight of Dolores Gray makes me physically ill, he said. So knowing that that was going to get printed in the papers, clearly, wow. Uh, according to Mana Allen, uh, whose father John was in the original production, how cool is that? Uh, Bert Lahr could do a sketch and also count the house at the same time. So uh, he, was, he was an old school performer, um, and he would spend the time in between performances in the box office checking receipts. Wow. Uh, one notable thing uh, about Dolores Gray is that she holds a record for the briefest Tony-winning performance. She won Best Actress in a Musical for Carnival in Flanders, which only played six performances. Interesting, right? Uh, Two on the Isle actually played for eight months, but it's still underappreciated today, and one, one of Compton and Green's lesser-known gems. The Daily Mirror said, here's a song and dancer calculated to make you forget the heat and humidity, and the house of tenants is most pleasantly air-conditioned. <laughs> Critics were sometimes easier to please back then, I guess. Give them air conditioning, and they were all set. They're like, your show is great. You have air conditioning? I'll be there. Um, but were all the critics so easy to please back then? Uh, well, the New York Post said, uh, give me Burt Lahr darting about the stage in a lot of funny costumes, and I am almost certain to have a good time in the theater. Uh, can you just imagine in the Post today if Michael Riedel said, give me Nathan Lane darting about the stage in a bunch of funny costumes, and I'm certain to have a good time in the theater? What happened? No. <laughs> Another review said, as for the chorus girls, they're very easy on the eye. Just one eye. Um, that's what it says, just one eye. Good expression. I don't, I don't patch. Um, as for the chorus boys, they're perfectly all right. As for Julie Stein's music, that is good and loud. How is that a review? That is so ridiculous. You made me laugh. It is good and loud. Uh, Critics did agree that Dolores Gray learned, earned her place in the Broadway pantheon with her song, If. Uh, she was on fire when she sang it. Indeed, one of my favorite Dolores Gray stories. I, how many times do you get to say one of my favorite Dolores Gray stories? I, I don't really have many, happen. so. Uh... It's like, there's so many. Um, wow. Uh, one of my favorite stories about her is when she later starred in Destry Rides Again, the curtain actually caught on fire while she was singing during the show, and firemen came to put it out, and Dolores Gray kept singing. Like, it's a legendary <laughs> Yes. Um, so here to sing Dolores Gray's Torture from the show Two on the Isle is Lauren Marcus. <laughs> Thank you. 
loving hostess. Smile beautiful. When I caught you with Kate, you would not say. 